Subscribe to the Artie Lang Uncensored podcast at artiequitter.com. Russ and I were at the airport last night, and this little petite broad. Oh, we, five feet tall. We asked her a very important question. Not no. like a, like an innocuous, like, is there a gift shop? You know? Yeah. We wanted to know Premier Access was where, where to go for that, because it means saving four hours. Right. And she goes, it's closed. Yeah. Like, like I should have got a newsletter. <laughs> Like, I woke up with a tattoo to my fucking face. I said, okay. <laughs> and then Russ, you know. I hadn't heard it. I didn't hear right, it. Right, he went up and yeah, Right, and exactly. Well, another human being asked the question. That well, happens yeah. in your job. And she you- just, yeah, she, she just had, like, hours of, like, uh, premiere-type people, I guess. <laughs> Just fucking, you know, being condescending to her, and she just snapped. And I, and I, I, I <laughs> like, almost, what? <laughs> it's <laughs> close. Like she, first, it was a long pause, staring me in the face. I know. <laughs> you know, just engaging me. Oh God, could you imagine? I go, Miss. I just fucking didn't hear what you said. Right. I, oh. Is it my fault? Is it my fault? You can't find your fucking husband. <laughs> <laughs> Is it my fault? Your kid has some sort of problem with his foot. Yeah. Just the unjustified rudeness usually. I know. My button. Is it my fault your kid is chubby for no real reason <laughs> and does a eight two forty? But TSA people are, I've noticed, I'm ready to fly off the handle. I mean, they've just had it. They hate it. Right. That guy today when I was coming in through the thing, uh, he was so mad I didn't take everything out of my pockets. So I, I saw that, there. yeah. Oh, was he pissed. I he saw a confrontation. So yeah. <laughs> right. He gave me shit too. He goes, pull up your pants, sir. Come on, you can do it. That's yeah. what he said. Yeah. Like I'm a retard. Right. <laughs> yeah, we need people there to. Yeah. He to says, stop them from cracking and doing well, Yeah, something. like I'm stupid. Yeah. Put your pants up. Come on, you can do it. Yeah. You know why I can't get my pants up? Because in my pocket I have your yearly salary. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's like, how do you get this job? You can fog a mirror is your resume? <laughs> 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 Sometimes not even. <laughs> right. You can fog a mirror. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It is. It's, wait, excuse me. The TSA guy's giving me shit? <laughs> <laughs> and physically, where you find these people. You see that woman in... That, that, that was okay on. Right exactly She was well, about nine feet tall Okay the other one I forgot about the other guy <laughs> This other guy A Brooklyn accent Screaming A TSA yeah. guy I had a dream last night I was gonna meet Audie Lang <laughs> I had a dream Am I bullshit? I ain't bullshit yeah. Yeah. Did I tell you I had a dream 3am I woke up I'm gonna meet Audie Lang <laughs> I, Am I bullshitting you? First of all Who was he asking that to? Yeah. There, there was an, an, uh, an imaginary person I st- did I not say it? I said it. Okay, all well, of his employees looking at him like he's the guy on the top of the Texas uh, booth. Bus. Six foot four, African American lady. Yeah. Her fly open, chubby. She could box out Kevin fucking McHale. She looked like Alex Cartwright. She looked Bill Cartwright. In his third year, the Bulls. proportions made no sense. <laughs> I mean, her shoulders were ginormous. It looked like like uh, like some uh, ghetto kids were building a snowman and uh, gave <laughs> yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, just like and part of the rib cage was ex- was distended, right. and I couldn't. Uh, something went wrong, but yeah. she was huge. It looked like kids who grew up in Puerto Rico, and at fourteen they were yeah. taken to Aspen <laughs> and gave up around like mid right here. <laughs> uh, yeah, she was. She was asshole, the snow woman. <laughs> But that's oh, that's rough. If you put a hat on her, she would have said, "Go fuck yourself." <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's the nearest greenhouse, babe? Because I'd like to melt you right now. Yeah. So she's looking at this guy screaming out my name. Yeah. Like puzzled. Like okay, he's gonna he he could have cracked. Oh. That's got to be against policy. <laughs> and meanwhile, Russ is doing something wrong, and I can yeah. get my pants up. I said it. Did I not say it? <laughs> and then someone must have given him shit. Because as that guy's fucking with you, yeah. I look over. I forgot to be nice to the guy. I go, hey, man, thanks. <laughs> I guess the, someone like keep put it the, cool. This yeah. Is, you get, you're out of hand. Already. Someone put the kibosh on it. At the right of fireman's fucking bullhorn. <laughs> yeah, I guess Bob Lanier, that chick, came over. <laughs> fucking already <laughs> lying. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Yes. And we were talking about like, Easy. what if he like, he was in Boston on 9-11? I knew. I said I was going to meet Muhammad Atta. I knew it. Did I not say it? I'm meeting Muhammad Atta today. Did I not fucking say it? How long you been here? The FBI guys always ask me that. How long you been here? I say I know Muhammad Atta. <laughs> you got a strip club, Atta's, Tata's? <laughs> yeah, that's where they were last night. They were really fucking religious, the, the 9-11. Uh, oh, I know. Yeah, they were at a fucking I'm strip club. I'm surprised they went through with it after that. Yeah, really? Don't they see that and go, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah, you're home free. Just stay here. They must really be brainwashed. They must really think 70 virgins. Yeah. I hope they're all dudes. No, right. 